this mountain where the law was given, it's called Mount Sinai, the mount that we actually come to today that we're celebrating is called Mount Zion, the city of David, the kingdom of God. It's different. That was a type of it on the earth. This is ascending to heaven. See, they were, Moses ascended up into a type of heaven to get the law and bring it back down. Does that make sense? But the Christ ascended to get the blessing, the promise, which is greater than the law, the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God. And he sent it back down. And he didn't deliver it to you in tablets of stone so that you could sit there and pour over it and have to do it and be bound by it. Instead, because he had purged your sins, He sent the Spirit of God down upon you and inside you so you'd know God from the inside out. Nobody had ever known God. They thought they did. Moses even spoke about being in God's presence. Moses didn't know God. Moses didn't know God. You can read all through it. Moses thought God was testing them and tempting them. James clearly tells us in the New Testament, God can't be tempted, nor does he tempt anyone. Why did Moses think that? Because of the the fear. It was the covenant they were under. They were under a covenant that was meant to bring you to death. Every time you thought about God, you realize, I can't keep this covenant, I'm going to die. Everything about it was meant what? It was perfecting them for what? The one thing Moses had prophesied that was right. I mean, truly right. What was that? There's going to come a, what? A man from among you, much like me, he's a prophet. He said, and he will tell you what you must do. Do you understand they were worshiping all of this law and trying to get it perfect and thought they were serving God through all those rules and regulations? And those little, however many words that was, was the only thing they really had to hold on to. There's a man coming that'll be a prophet from God. He'll tell you what you must do. Just do that, and you'll be justified. Just believe there's a Messiah coming. That's all you got to do. And they were so full of rules on stone, laws, regulations, and all the laws they had added to it to help make the laws, and all the laws they had added to it to help the priest keep the law, supposedly keep the laws and all the things they had done, right? Added to it. What are we doing in these churches with our denominations and all our governments and all of the different things we've created to help us do what? Believe one simple thing. Jesus is Messiah. Trust in him and it'll all be okay. (laughs) I'm not telling you we're doing just like them, but I'm telling you we got a whole generation of Christians that aren't actually waiting for him to show up. Just like they weren't waiting for him to show up. Many of them weren't. And when he did, they didn't know. How many Christians today, if God showed up in their midst, they don't know what he looks like when he works through people. They don't know what the anointing looks like. They've been close to him. They have no idea. 